Hello everyone, it's Tammy Take 2009 and I'm bringing you my Thomas Wooden Railway collection video. Now, I have accumulated a lot of engines here, though my collection is relatively small. I do hope to expand it one day, but I could not be happier to own these back. For those of you who don't know, Thomas Wooden Railway was my childhood. I loved it to death as a kid and I still love it to this day. And the fact that I've now started to recollect these is such an amazing feeling. There are just a lot of trains here that are super rare and hard to find. There are a couple trains who were expensive, but I think they were still worth it. And now, there are some trains who haven't been finished painting yet. There's a couple trains who look scratched, but I will paint them soon. But I still can't be happier to have these. If any of you love Thomas Wynn really, tell me in the comments below. So, I'm going to be talking about my trains here, how valuable they are, and what I love about them. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, this here is my 1994 Wooden Railway Thomas. This was relatively cheap when I first got it. And overall, I think it's very nice to have him. Like, this was, like, more rare than those guys there. I've never had a 1994 Wooden Thomas just the way he looks, like his really accurate face and his really old wheels, which are different from the learning curve wheels. Super happy about this. Next, we have the really ugly 2002 Thomas, in my opinion. I don't even know why I had this when I was a kid. I honestly don't know what learning curve did to this Thomas here. Who was complaining about this design of Thomas? I think they should have kept using this for the foreseeable future. And I think Mattel should have just kept this Thomas here and just gave him a CGI face. It just feels super weird how they changed Thomas and other engines. Like, I honestly don't know why they keep redesigning these trains. Like, what's even the point of that? But anyways, I think I might do a review on this guy soon. But he does look kind of interesting when you compare him to um, this Thomas here and you can see the differences. I just like this Thomas better because of how smaller and cuter it is, and it has the accurate season three face. Next, we have my custom-made Golden Thomas. This was made for a 1996 Wooden Railway Thomas with a 3D printed funnel here. I tried to make it look like the 1992 Thomas, but overall, I think this Gold Thomas is really good. I love anything gold. Blue is my favorite color, but I just don't like gold. Then we have my Thomas Comes to Breakfast Thomas. I think this is a special edition where you have, like, a track. There's a better view for Gordon and James Goes Buzz Buzz that is the same thing as this here. I know that there is an Adventures with Thomas pack, which I did have the Thomas Comes to Breakfast Thomas, but he had red stripes and this wasn't the bumper beam. But I am super happy to have this guy. I might do remakes. If you guys want me to make Wooden Railway remakes, what episodes do you want me to remake? Alright, anyways. So, here we have the children here. We have Edward, love him. Henry, he's really amazing. Gordon has to be one of the best Gordons I've ever seen so far here. Like, this is really good Gordon, like, no joke. Anyways, we have James here, who looks splendider than ever. Like, this is really good James here. Percy here is looking super cute. I love this Percy to death. Then we have the ugly 60 years Percy, but... At least the 60 years weren't terrible. Like, maybe the hit era may have ruined the show, but at least we still got seasons 1 through 7. That's all that matters. We have Toby, and interesting enough, this is dated 1998. Like, I've got a lot of 1998 trains here, which is super surprising. Like, I wasn't expecting any of these trains to be dated in 1998. But anyways, we have one of my favorite females. We have Emily, who is part of the Steam team. Though I'm sure um, Duck was supposed to be part, but I think Emily here is, works perfectly well as a main protagonist. So with the Steam team out of the way, let's move on. So we have Duck here. Honestly, I'm just glad that Learning Curve kept this Duck instead of changing him. However, Mattel made a really weird one and just gave him the CGI face. Honestly, Mattel should have like, kept this and just gave him the CGI face. They should have kept all these trains here instead of changing them. Like, I really do not know why they decided to upgrade these engines for no stupid reason. But anyways, let's move on. 
So here's Donald and Douglas. I'm super happy that I've got both of them at the same time because they are twins. They look super cool. We have Oliver, who is one of my favorites because this wooden railway Oliver is in mint condition. Like, I honestly love how um, most of my trains are in good condition. And you're about to see. So we have Diesel here who is, I think he's dated, let me see. Oh, he's dated 1997. Anyways, here we have my custom Boko. I was originally going to buy the real Boko, but I just got inspired by Train Boy 17's Boko. Anyways, this was a character who I wanted. It's Daisy here. Daisy is like another super rare wooden railway train, but I am lucky to have Daisy. We have Bill and Ben, the China Clay Twins. They do look good. And I always found it weird how they got changed as well. Anyways, this was so surprising. We have the 1992 through 1993 Mavis. She has the flat magnets. She has the staples on the bottom. And even four wheels. Like, honestly, I prefer this Mavis over the six-wheeled Mavis because her face is a lot more interesting and more beautiful. She does well around curves here. I know some of you may have wanted Mavis and Toby to have six wheels, but I'm just more of a four-wheel person. Stepney here. Now, honestly, I was quite confused as to why they kept Stepney's beveled funnel instead of, like, trying to give him a TV show accurate funnel in 1999 through 2001. I still think Stepney here is another great Thomas character. I'm sure Train Boy 17 would love this. This was one who I was wanting the most. This is the Flying Scotsman. And... We paid like $60 for him, but I think it was worth it. He looks so cool in person. I do have Scotsman's second tenor, though it's the same tenor as this one. I still gotta like shave off the coal and paint the letters and numbers. We have a Chinese knockoff Aryan Burt. I was originally going to buy the real versions, but I decided not to to save money. We have my custom splatter and dodge, who were made from two old diesels. I know some of you may be saying, well, why did you um, make customs instead of buying your own? Well, I might probably do a video explaining why I did that, if you like. We have Diesel 10 here, who is honestly better than the Tomy version of Diesel 10, where they gave him the god-awful CGI face. Even better than the Mattel one. Like, I'm just super happy to have Diesel 10. This is another child. This is Lady here. I really love Lady to death. And Ali, this is the 2002 Lady, but they just changed her in 2003, which I don't know why they did. This Lady here is a really good Lady model. Excuse me. Now we have the season six through seven characters. We have Salty, who looks pretty okay. We got Harvey. Mm. Yeah. Then we have Murdoch, who is in really mint condition. I really cannot believe that Murdoch here is so well mint and fresh. Like, he's just as good as Oliver, where he's in mint condition. Anyways, we've got Fergus. We have Arthur here. Which, for some reason, he was made in 2003, but they gave him the maroon color. I think they should have made him a brighter red. But I'm not complaining too much, as long as I have this guy. We have Spencer here. Now, he was a bit beat up, and we did try to, like, fix him, but I really do not know if I like this. I might redo him at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Really happy to have Spencer here. And this guy! Like, literally, I really wanted this guy so much. Like, this is Neil here from the Railway Series, and he was, like, so cool, like, even better in person. Like, I can't believe I'm holding Neil in my hands for the first time. He was a little expensive, but I'm really happy to have him. Alright, now let's talk about my narrow gauge engines. We'll start with Scarloey. And like Oliver and Murdoch, Scarloey is in very mint condition. Really happy with Scarloey. I honestly don't know why Reneus costed like $19 here. This is the much older Reneus that I really love. When they changed Reneus, they for some reason gave him Sir Handel's face and white wheels. Not to mention the boiler was too fat. Much like this guy here. 
Anyways, here we have Sir Handel here, who I think is another amazing model. We have Peter Sam with the old funnel. I do wonder why they just didn't make a square version of this guy here with the square funnel. But personally, I prefer Peter Sam with his um, old funnel. Peter Sam is my narrow gauge favorite. We have Rusty here. I think this is a much more accurate colored Rusty here, unlike the 1996 Rusty. And he does have the small face. I can't bear to imagine what would happen if they tried to base Rusty off of his season six through seven model with that big giant face. Ugh. There's Duncan, who is dated 1998. I did have Duncan, but honestly, I'm surprised that they didn't change Duncan until Tommy took over. We have Duke, the Forgotten Engine. He is a little bit beat up, as I said before. Like, he's got a lot of paint scratches, but I just decided to show him before I paint it. But this guy here is another one I was not expecting. So we have Bertram here. So, Bertram is another rare and hard to find character. Like, honestly, I'm super happy that I have Bertram, though. I did find it weird how they just, like, made him a tank engine and not... I mean, they could have just, like, recolored Duke, but I'm super happy to have Bertram. He was expensive, like Neil, but I think it was worth it. And then we have another childhood favorite of mine. This is Coldy, the only mountain engine. It would have been nice if they made, like, Godred and Lord Harry. But I do really love how cold he looks here. I mean, his back face does look a little bit... I don't know. But I really love Coldy here, and I'm super happy to have him back. I remember having Coldy, as well as other trains like James. I remember having Gordon, Henry, and Edward. I did have all these old trains here. I even had, like, an out-of-puff Thomas. But anyways, let's move on. 